All right, man, mental health and hip-hop. There's definitely a problem here. If people haven't caught on to this by now, I don't know what to tell you. These aren't normal people that we're seeing scattered all over the television, social media, and all of that. Doing all of this crazy shit and attention-seeking shit or, or just awkward shit in general. Like, these rappers do this shit for a reason, man, and I'm going to tell you why. The industry is purposely seeking out the worst individuals in certain communities so that these individuals can get a platform, a huge platform at that. You know, hip hop is a huge platform as, as well as, you know, movies and everything else these rappers end up in. But they take these people and they give them this big platform so they can influence the youth, right? Now, if they're purposely taking people who we all know that these people may be 20, 30 years ago before they shut down all the mental health facilities. These motherfuckers would be patients. Everybody knows this, bro. I'm trying my hardest not to use the R word, but y'all know where I'm going with this shit. These motherfuckers are out there bad, man. And I'm aware of that, so I, I try to take it easy on them. But at the same time, they so fucking arrogant. It's hard to do that, you know? So I talk about these rappers how I talk about them. Fuck it, man. They ain't shit. And like I said, man, they, they purposely giving these rappers these huge platforms to influence the youth. To, you know, show them they drug use, they badass lifestyle, they bad decisions and bad habits. Just everything is bad about them nine times out of ten. If you try to live like they live and you ain't got the platform or the influence or anything like that to support it, your life is going to end up shit. It's, it's going to be real fucked up. You're going to get all of the bad things that come with living that lifestyle and none of the good shit that these rappers showing you. All the chains, the, all the women, all of that shit going to be gone because if y'all ass end up in prison, ain't going to be none of that flashy shit going on. Now, these motherfuckers, half of these motherfuckers, uh, these rappers, they lucky to even be in the position they in. The only reason they in that position is because they have a lot of influence over a lot of people. Like they, they usually start off with a big influence. Like they have a, you know, some type of local buzz or something that can be built on. And then the um, labels help them manifest that into, you know, basically a domestic success or even international or sometimes worldwide. But it's the it's the same process. And I'm I'm mainly talking about mumble rappers. I know there's other rappers that got brains and shit, but I'm obviously talking about mostly these type of rappers on, on the screen right now. Like, come on, designer, Lil Yachty, Young Thug, like these the main three that stick out in this picture to me, man. These people obviously have mental health issues and uh I mean, if you listen to them enough, just like these kids do, you can become them eventually, right? You consume something enough, you will become what you're consuming. That's why they say you are what you eat. But I just wanted to share that with y'all, man. I don't want to get too deep into it. I'm going to just end up repeating myself. So let me know what y'all think about this. Like and subscribe. Do y'all think? They are purposely putting mental health patients in front of our kids to influence our kids to become this in the future. Let me know.